Ladies, gentlemen, both, neither. There's about to be a party in Agrabah. Aladdin, of the films present in this game, is probably my favorite Disney movie of them that's in Kingdom Hearts. My absolute favorite Disney movie period is Emperor's New Groove. And I gave up seeing David Spade and Patrick Warburton in Kingdom Hearts a long time ago. But Aladdin is just a really good Disney movie. Probably has one of the best, if not the best, collection of songs. Prince Ali, One Step... I don't remember what Aladdin's opening song is called. One Step in Front of the Hitman, blah, 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 blah. Friend Like Me, part of... Like, just so many good songs in it. So yeah, Agrabah is my favorite world in the game to explore. It is just tragically saddled with the three worst bosses in the game. But we will get to them when it is time to kill them. So, so far what's been established is that Maleficent and the gang are looking for the seven princesses of heart to open the final door. What does that mean? You'll find out eventually. So, we are going to be in Agrabah, which is Persian, I believe? I don't quite remember. I believe it's supposed to be Persia. But I am not Mr. Worldwide. I mean, it's cool is what Agrabah is. And I also like Maleficent being this imposing fi Like I said, the decision to put Maleficent as the big bad of all the Disney villains, such a good decision. Like, perfect casting. Alright, we're playing the feud! I, uh, forgot how quickly you start fighting things in here. So, Agrabah, what makes it fun is there's a big emphasis on, like, exploring and platforming, both in Agrabah itself and in the Cave of Wonders. Which, uh, spoiler, you go to the Cave of Wonders in the Aladdin world. Who would have thought? And it's just really cool, and I hope to show off a lot of it. Inside this box, we got ourselves a Mega Potion. Some Reckless Vandalism will get us money. And let's open up this box. Mega, holy cow, Mega Ether. And simply put, this place is fun. But let me, I keep, I almost always forget that this storage room exists. Like, I normally just keep going because the other save point is in a very easy to access place. So I always forget that this room exists. Except when I'm looking for that green trinity. Which we cannot mess around with yet. Tragic. Instead, it is time to go to Main Street, where you'll notice that like a lot of things are blocked off. That's because it's not available until we platform our way through. Like there'll be multiple areas that are just locked, like um we can't get to because we need to do some jumping. And I am running low on MP because I'm not a big dumb nerd yet. That's okay. Also, you'll notice the arrow that was cast on me. That is a side effect of making sure that Donald plays defensively. He actually gives you the stats that you need. Oh, hey, Magic Carpet. You have to help Magic Carpet get out of um, being stuck underneath a dresser. How did the carpet even get into that situation in the first place? I don't know. It just kind of did. Turns out, carpets are not known for their brains. So, let's continue to cast Blizzard. Do not need any more of a complicated strategy than that. However, it can only work once because, again, I don't have much MP. Genius hiding place, Jasmine. Absolutely incredible. Oh, that's that's something I do want to bring up about the Aladdin world. I don't like that the Sultan isn't here. The Sultan does not make an appearance in either Agrabah and Kingdom Hearts. I think. 
And I'm sad about that. The Sultan was an enjoyable side character. Like, he's stupid, but that like, he's like a fun stupid. I don't know. I just think you could have put him in this game and given me a laugh or two. And there's Jafar. He is looking very Janir right now. Jasmine, run! And there she goes! It is kind of interesting how they kind of redo the story of um, Aladdin, but kind of don't. Like, so far, the, um, the Hercules world really doesn't touch upon anything from Hercules other than Hades being Hades. Alice in Wonderland kind of went with the same story with Alice being put on trial, but it was mostly its own thing. And then Tarzan just had, like, Jane was there without her father. Like, a lot of things are different. And that's kind of the theme for these worlds. Like, of the Disney worlds that are around, they touch on some of the stuff from the movie, but actually do a lot of their own thing with it as well. Something that Kingdom Hearts 3 both really understands and really doesn't understand. Um, I don't know if this is a spoiler to say for Kingdom Hearts 3, but it is very clear that Pixar gave the Kingdom Hearts team a lot of freedom to work with when making the Pixar worlds, and Disney did not give them much of any. It is quite painfully obvious. There we go, we got ourselves a Mega Ether. And now that we have seen Jasmine, told her to flee, and heard the magical name Aladdin, we are free to go meet, get this, Aladdin. Because we go to the desert, the desert is hot, large, and boring, but whoa, that magic carpet we freed, remember him? From like, five minutes ago? All good deeds are rewarded. Not always with a magic carpet ride, but... Oh, Aladdin's dying. Now, this is... Now that I think about it, wait. How does Aladdin have the magic carpet already if he hasn't fully gotten back from the Cave of Wonders yet? Or do they explain that in five seconds and I just need to shut the hell up? Whatever. It's my right to bitch about a plot point not making sense before the plot even has time to explain it. My god-given right as an American. Right. These are the bandit enemies. They can be pretty difficult on higher difficulties, and also in general. Like, one of their things is they throw their sword and control it with magic. And let me tell you, trying to fight other things and then suddenly you just see a sword flying at you from downtown... And can do a little bit of damage. Aladdin is dead. Oh, there he is. And behold! Get rid of these guys. There he is, Robin, not Williams. Unfortunately, Square Enix could not afford Robin Williams. But they can afford Dan Custan Cast Castanella, the voice of Homer Simpson, which actually lines up with the Aladdin property. The genie was Robin Williams in Aladdin, then for the cartoon show and second Aladdin movie, it was Dan Castanella, and then they got Robin Williams back for the third, um, third movie. Okay, yeah, so the, the carpet went off to get help. Unfortunately, they do not have... <laughs> the, the Dan is still funny. Like, this is more so a... This, this is just Dan being really good. Like, it, the fact that Dan Castanella was the downgrade doesn't speak for Dan, it speaks for Robin Williams. Because in the cartoon and second movie, 
the genie was still funny. Like, Dan did a good job capturing Robin Williams' energy. I do really like Dan as the genie. Even if the genie doesn't quite have as much to say. Like, he's really throwing in his big line, right? Like, his big scene right here. Because, you know, if you're going to get the voice of Homer Simpson in your video game, you're going to let him say some funny shit. You see... There's this girl in Agrabah. And Aladdin's voice acting is very good. I do not know if they got the original voice actor back. Like, who they can and can't get back is weird. Like, um, like they could, they could get James Woods and Alice in Wonderland's original voice actress, but Robin Williams, that's just too much. But all in all, it's still nice that, it's still, who they got is good. Kingdom Hearts' voice acting for the Disney worlds are mostly pretty good. And it's mostly pretty good in general. Especially for early PS2. And here we get the normal spiel from the movie of the genie being trapped in a lamp. Some lines ripped from the movie. But it's establishing things pretty well here. Hey, Genie. What if I and yeah, the last wish. I wonder if Aladdin makes this promise and then is shown to have good morals and fulfills it even if it would be in his best interest to only wish for himself on his last wish. Yep. And hey, now this fat guy's here. This is exactly the same as the other fat heartless, but his thing is he makes... The other Heartless more difficult, because with these guys, you can normally just whack them and never have to worry. The fat guy is an absolute, like, beefcake. He does not give up, he does not die very easy. So while you're trying to deal with him, you have to deal with all those goddamn swordsmen. And if you deal with the swordsmen, well, you've got to worry about that fat fuck coming at you. And it's pretty good. Pretty pretty good enemy design there. Now we go over here. There's some pot spiders. I believe that's the name of this heartless. We want to kill them because they give us moon. And now I can ignore this one. I like I've already dealt with this. I, I do not care. All right, I can beat you in one con. I cannot beat you in one combo. All right, fine. Make me look like a fool. Thanks, Aladdin. Bam. And let's just get out of here. Now we're going through the same thing I did earlier. Uh, you know what? I know I don't care about you. I'm just going to go to the bazaar. Which I got to admit, pretty shitty bazaar. Like, don't bazaars have goods and services? This just has a bunch of pots. If I wanted to see a bunch of pots, I'd just go to a Streetlight Manifesto concert. Alright, give me the money. Mm -hmm. Are the pot spiders immune to magic, or do I just not have nearly enough damage to kill them? Whatever. Just keep on beating the shit out of things. It's a, it's a simple life. Ooh, an item drop. A lucid shard, cool. Is Donald, like, wall comboing a fucking Heartless? Good for him. He deserves it. Jump. Jump. Jump! Grab the money. Grab the box. Woo! Grab the box. Ooh, a fire ring. And now we can get... To the front entrance of the palace. You're not actually allowed to go into the palace. I mean, they don't have the budget to create that. But you can kind of get like around the palace. Just a quick line about the keyhole revealing that the genie knows where it is. That surely will not come into play at a later point. 
onto Main Street. This is not the entrance that I wanted. Aladdin's house has only like three entrances and exits. Should really take care to remember them. Alright, here we go. Ruh row, Raggy. Let me see if I can't. Nope. There's a chest up there, but I won't be able to get it. Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to. And here's Jafar being Jafar. Jasmine! I'm so sorry. That's I'm such ready. such a loud yell. Jasmine, please. What row? You're making this really easy. Yep, in this game, he does not use any of the wishes to um to become a prince. There is no Prince Ali in this game. I'm sorry. Thanks, Gilbert Godfrey. Uh oh. I bid you all farewell. Welcome to shitty boss number one, the pot scorpion. Not a big fan of this one. So what you need to do is it will build up all the pots and then just kind of stand there. And what you want to do is break the pot so that the spider gets broken. All the while, you are listening to Jasmine yell for help, and that can get kind of annoying because it's the same voice lines. And then the pot spider just doesn't... Pot scorpion, excuse me. Just doesn't do very much. Like, look at this. Boom, now he's broken up again. And it's not really one of the better ones. I actually... When I was playing this game on proud mode, I managed to beat him first try because he got like stuck on geometry i think specifically like this corner right here the pot scorpion just got stuck and couldn't move but you are bearing witness to intense kingdom hearts gameplay yeah this ain't this ain't the best but hey not every boss can be a winner can it Oh, holy shit, an item's over here. I'm gonna fuck this boss. What's this item? Yo, a tent. That's cool. I like the Pokemon. Penta cool. <laughs> and he's dead. Yep. Riveting, wasn't it? It doesn't even really explain how you get the accessory for beating it. But in case you couldn't tell, every world, I'm pretty sure every world, has a unique accessory that's normally better than what you can buy, but not as good as what you can synthesize. The Ray of Light, I do believe, is the MP one. And I will gladly lose a point of strength for a point of MP. But yep. Oh, well, I just used thunder in front of the thunder enemies and the enemies immune to magic. That is not... Not my greatest moment. I'll admit. Whoops. Look, we, we all make mistakes. Some of us are just built stupid, okay? D don't make fun of me. Be patient, please. I'm a YouTuber. I could be Aaron Hansen. You know, sometimes I stop and think... Do I make too many jokes at Aaron Hansen's expense? Because I have been a literal Game Grump subscriber since day one, and literally watched Game Grump's videos today while I was working on the Echidna video. But then I remember what Aaron Hansen's done to the uh, co uh, public perception of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I don't care anymore. Alright. So did you like how we had to deal with a crappy boss? You want to deal with another crappy boss, literally, and I mean literally, right after? Congratulations, folks. You're getting just that. Welcome to the Cave of Wonders. Yes, the Cave of Wonders is a boss. What the heck's Donald doing back there? So, 
you have to manage to climb up the Cave of Wonders and whack its eyes. All the while, it is constantly throwing you off, and it kind of just feels like luck, whether or not you can actually stay on the thing. And it just, it is not the greatest. This boss, surprisingly, on hard mode, was the most difficult for me. This is the boss that took me the most resets. Because not only does, you know, the Cave of Wonders have a lot of health, and summon enemies that can fuck you up if you're trying to, you know, beat the boss. Yeah, fool I am for trying that. It really just feels like a complete crapshoot. Whether or not you're allowed to stay on this goddamn thing. And like, maybe there's a secret sauce, right? Like, maybe there's something I can do that when he's swinging back and forth like this, you'll never get thrown off, right? Maybe such a thing exists. I'll be damned if I've ever figured it out. So all I can do is just keep up my combos and hope to God that I manage to get lucky and stay. Thankfully, it is such a, like, change in scenery to be playing this on not the hardest difficulty. Because normally, these eyes take a lot more godforsaken hits. But you know what? I'll take it. We aren't here to suffer. I've literally said this from the start. I'm just getting footage for a Kingdom Hearts uh, review, look back, etc. So I do not care if my gameplay looks a little easy. I do care if that air soldier keeps smacking me. Let's just keep thundering. Donald. No, no, I fell off. God damn it, I fell off. Plus ratio. Oh, but thank God Aladdin leveled up. Thank goodness. Where would we be if Aladdin didn't level up? Alright, there we go. We've gotten rid of some of the goons. Now do an attack that lets me hit you. No? You're just gonna... Okay. No, no, uh, by all means. It's not like I'm trying to entertain an audience right now. Just, just keep doing that. It's motherfucker! Alright. No, we're fine. I can just keep thwacking that eye... And not have a million and there we go. Alright. Get out of here. And that's it. We've beaten the Cave of Wonders. Yep. Now we get to go into the Cave of Wonders. The second half of Agrabah. This place's gimmick... Is that there's an above ground and below ground. Or above them. There's a first floor and a second floor. The second floor is jam-packed with waterways, and you can fall down there accidentally, and it kind of isn't the greatest experience in the world. So you want to stay up top. And you can do things up top that can influence what you see down below, and vice versa. Thank you, Donald. So, like, remember how I was saying the enemies here get much more difficult when the big guy's involved because he actually makes it, like, he makes the enemy design more interesting because of his big and fat nature? You just saw a good example of that. Yeah, there's no way I'm picking up that. Owie. Alright. Keep on thwacking. A deep freeze, deep freeze, deep freeze, and hey, get this. Bam. Hey, Blaze Gem. So, through the power of Aladdin and his monkey companion, you are, in fact, able to get through this area. But first, let's just do a little bit of that. Let's open up this box. And, Geronimo! We are now in the underwater. 
There's a Trinity that I do not have, but I'll worry about that later. So what you need to do is you need to have Aladdin in your party. Specifically, not for this one. But like all the touching all these monkey eggs continuously do things for us. And we need to touch a certain amount of monkey eggs to progress. Like this one. Aladdin, buddy, please move. Like Sora can't reach this. But old Abu sure can. And wow! Now we have stairs! And that block we shoved down here was for this chest. Containing Mithril. The rare rock Mithril. And a Thunder Ring that I do not really care about. So if we would like to go up these stairs and into the Dark Chamber, we have ourselves another box. Which is a gummy ship part that I don't give a fuck about. Also, you can swim up waterfalls. Don't worry about it. So with the help of our good old monkey pal Abu... We can open this box, obtain a protector or a chain, which is not very useful, but it's there. Open up this box. One page! We can go back to Winnie the fucking Pooh. Let's go. <clears throat> we can save our game because, you know, that's generally considered a beneficial thing to do in society. Jumping on over. Opening up this box that contains a cottage. Okay, cool. Now, I don't quite remember, but I think you have to go to the bottom, oh, not bottom, the end of the first room. No, no, hold on, hold on. I remember what it is I need to do. I think. Which I know, I don't think very often. But I do like to think sometimes. All right. Focus on the air shoulders. Shoulders? Yes, the floating pair of shoulders. Yes, that, that is my enemy here. The air soldiers. And just hope that the fat guy doesn't chuck fireballs at me. <clears throat> Some of the best strategies in video games boil down to, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, I'll be your best friend if you don't hit me. It sounds like a terrible strategy. But it is actually incredibly... Damn, I knocked him down far. Fucking... Eat Blizzard. Aladdin, you wanna do anything, buddy? You're just standing there. Thanks, Aladdin. Very helpful. We need the yellow trinity for him. So, you know, good luck for that. Ow. Hit him with the blizzard. Yeah, with 4 MP, our blizzards are actually doing decent damage. Bam. Ah, love me some magic. Um, Those things exist to blow us back down to the bottom. Thankfully, I've got uh, platforming skills, and you will never see me get hit by that ever. Not in the history of the world. I'm just too good at video games. Alright, and now we go to the bottomless hall. Which, I'm um, not to spoil anything. It is not bottomless. It is, in fact, very much having of a bottom. It just sends you down to the, uh, the waterways. Okay, so yeah, now the pot spiders can be hit. I just didn't do enough magic damage when I first fought them. Hmm. <clears throat> To really contribute. Okay. Alright, are we good? Are we good? Can I open this box? Where is there a thing? Oh. Oh, aren't you cute? I did not want to lock onto the barrel. What's in this box? A cottage. You, put, you have the ability to knock me into the pit, so I'm just going to ignore you. And head into the treasure room. Ow. Bit of a bandito jump scare. And let's just continue to pummel the crap out of him. Fuck you, fuck you. 
Let me thwack you. I said, let me thwack you. Come on, gang. We're not gonna let fat people be the end of us. Ignore, don't ask me my own weight. Don't, don't. We don't need to talk about that. Just say that I am a perfectly healthy young man of normal body fat. And we will leave it at that. Jesus Christ, die, you fat ass! Thank you. Good God. <clears throat> Anyways. So... Oh, I need Goofy here. I think that Red Trinity is actually required. Now that I think about it, I think I need to do that Red Trinity. Which means that I need Goofy in my party. Because, which means I need to go to a save point. Because you can't... No, 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 actually, hold on. That, that Trinity is not required. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not. I would like to... No, you can activate that. But it's not letting me. Alright. Let's just go through here. Just jump down to the bottomless hall. And I vaguely remember what I'm supposed to do. The problem is I don't remember where. There's a pillar somewhere down here. You know what? Let me just... It's gonna bother me if I don't get it. I'm gonna switch over to the goof. There's a pillar somewhere in here. That when you... Fuck. That when you hit it with... When you just, like, whack it with an attack... It opens up the way to... The boss. Is it down here? No. Well, maybe it's... The silent chamber. Ooh... I've already been here. And just climb up a water, swim up a wa Goofy's so tall and he looks so funky. Alright. Um. Oh, I can do Trinity Jump right here. A box! What's in this box? A Thundara gummy. Cool. I don't know, just go to that damn Trinity. I don't think. That, um, it's where I have to go, but it honestly might be. Let's find out, shall we? I'm just, don't, don't mind me, just a guy who's beaten this game literally like two weeks ago. Incapable, and I gotta fight all these things again. Oh, god damn it. I'll be fine. I'm good at video games, I swear. I'll probably kill myself. Alright, let's just beat the shit out of this guy again. Bam, boop, bop. Bam, boop, bop. Bam, boop, bop. Bam, boop, bop. How many bams and bops do I have to fucking do to you? There we go. That's the secret. Bitch about it. If at any point in your life things aren't going your way, just complain. Unapologetically. Never shut the fuck up. No, that just makes a lot of money fall down. Which, yeah, that makes sense. We're in the we're in the money chamber. Won't budge, keep exploring the ruins. Okay, fine. Don't worry, don't worry. I I'll remember this. At some point. Dark, I've been in the dark chamber. Hold on, what's that over there? What's that over here? Have I been in this area? The hidden room. Ooh. Yep, this is exactly... Yep, this is exactly the thing that I was... Bam. And now you're able to go... Yep. God, I'm an idiot. That's okay. It's the point of exploring, you know? My first wish, genie, 
Show me the key. The point of exploring is finding cool shit. That's a really good expression on the genie, by the way. That. That's 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 some good facial animation. Oh god, my ass. Sitting in a chair to record let's plays. I need to buy one of them office chairs, otherwise I'm gonna have back problems by the time I'm 30. And a 30-year-old should not have back problems. Okay. Getting away from you guys. I'm strong enough, thank you. I do not need experience. I'm already perfect. I do want money, though, so, uh, fuck you. Oh, thank you. Leave. Woo! Alright. Into the treasure room. And now it is a save point. Which means I can put Aladdin back in there. Congratulations, Aladdin. You're back on the team. Mm-hmm. The lamp chamber... And it is time for terrible boss number three! That boy again. Woo! He is more persistent than I expected. Hey Maleficent, how you doing? Uh, to that boy, let's uh you wanna maybe talk this out? Like I've watched Sleeping Beauty. I know you can become a dragon. So why don't we talk things out before they get to that point? <laughs> Something about that. Just any time a character can just instantly vanish, it's funny to me. I don't know why. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. You want to explain to us what that is? But you fools won't live. Yeah, no, we're just gonna keep going. Goddamn JRPGs, and they're not spoon feeding me every single plot point. The one with the lamp calls the shots. This is actually a clever idea for a boss. So, this is the fight against Jafar. And the genie, but the genie is immortal, don't worry about him. You have to whack Jafar. And you'll notice immediately the problem with this. Is that we're getting a lucky thing right here. But yeah, he kind of just moves. Like, he should move very soon. Yep. And that's actually something like, you are... And now, like, right here, I can't hit him. Like, he's just up there, and I have to wait for him. But one of the things I do like about this fight is how they do the genie. Because he does give attacks, and he can hurt you. But he telegraphs everything... With a sorry about this run or I don't want to do this. So, like, that's kind of a funny way to work in the genie as a threat. But the other problem is I just can't fucking hit him. Jafar spends most of this fight just running away. And maybe, like, at the very beginning, I was getting an incredibly lucky pattern with him just standing there. But, like, I'm just at the mercy of whenever Jafar decides to sit still. And there he fucking goes! And then he casts his big old blizzard, which, unless your name is Donald, Goofy, or Aladdin, you're never going to get hit by that. And I'm just at the mercy. Jafar, you want to come down here and fight me like a man? Oh, Donald's dead. I didn't revive Donald in the middle of that blizzard. I definitely did. So, yep. The only thing Jafar does that stands any real chance of hitting you is that laser beam. And that's about it. Like, that big old blizzard? How am I going to get hit by that? Why would I ever be standing in the dead center of the arena? Like, maybe if Jafar ever went to the dead center... I could see it, but he doesn't. He exclusively hangs around the edge. So I'm stuck just kind of waiting for him. This entire fight is just, hey, dumbass. 
I'm over here now. And Donald... Donald's trying. Bless his little duck heart. I don't even remember that fire attack. So now I just have to hope, and there it goes again. Holy fuck! <clears throat> Damn jump scare. Alright. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your dumbass magic shit. Please die. It would be really convenient for me if you died. Oh, wait, this attack makes you come to me. I didn't even know you had this attack. You, like, never used it on me. Come on. Come on. God damn it. Okay. Okay, the uh, genie just pummeled the shit out of Donald Duck. Oh, and his attacks leave help droplets, because, you know, he's the genie. He doesn't actually want to hurt you. That's nice. It doesn't change this bullshit. All right, motherfucking lizard bullshit. Ah. And Donald's dead again. Ow! Oh, wow, his health pellets actually essentially make his attack do nothing. That was the first time I was hit this entire boss, I think. I think maybe Jafar nicked me with the, um, the blizzard once. God! Just die! What fucking Jafar? See, this is the problem. This world would be really, really, really enjoyable if this fight wasn't like this. Oh, and then away. Ooh, I'm over here now. Good! Fucking... Why, why does Jafar sound like Banjo? The, the laser, like I said, only thing of his that actually stands any re I am going to commit crimes that will tell Adolf Hitler to sit the fuck down. There we go! Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Ugh. However, anyone who knows the plot of the movie Aladdin knows that this fight isn't over because Jafar kind of has this incredibly iconic second form and we're going to have to go deal with that. And you might be thinking, oh, you said that there were three annoying bosses, so is this last form good? I kind of wanted to sound nicer to the game, so I said it was three terrible bosses. And I'm counting these two phases as separate bosses, because this one also sucks. <sighs> At least there's some funny facial animation. So, yep. Genie Jafar from the movie, the true final boss of Agrabah. Spoiler, it's also not very good. Why? So you know everything that was wrong with the fight we just fought? What if that again? Because here comes the big spooky ookie bookie... Jafar Genie. You, instead of fighting this fight running to Jafar, now you are running to Gilbert Godfrey. You, the objective of this fight, kill Gilbert Godfrey. And you might be thinking, he's already dead. Yeah, we gotta kill him again. And if you want to say that joke is insensitive, Gilbert Godfrey would want nothing more than for you to make fun of him. He was a legend, one of the greatest comedians out there. The ship, the comments during the Aflac Duck era, a little problematic, but who cares really? And you know what? I'm glad that Gilbert Godfrey's last role as an actor was God in Smiling Friends. That is perfect. Imagine your final role as a comedian, as a voice actor, 
being God. I don't think it's physically possible to go out any higher than that. Also, you're noticing that Jafar isn't doing jack shit. Correct. He'll very occasionally throw a fireball. Whoa. However, I will say I've been getting very lucky with old Gilbert Godfrey over here. And before you ask, yes, I know his name is Iago. I don't think I'm going to get comments about that, but I might. It's just funnier to call him Gilbert Godfrey. Where the fuck is he? There he is. This fight is just kind of dumb and annoying and dumb. And it makes me really sad because Aladdin's one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, this is one of my favorite worlds as a world. It just very tragically has really bad bosses. Like, uh, it, it does not make it a world I don't like. I do like Agrabah. I like jumping around. I like the exploration in the Cave of Wonders. Even if, like, I got lost this one time, that's part of the fun. The satisfaction of realizing where you gotta go. It's why Metroidvanias are such a big genre. People like getting lost more than they admit. And it's done. That fight had a good idea. Jafar just needed to do something more than nothing. Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. And now... Jafar is killed. Well, not really is kill. He's stuck in the lamp. Until a foolish thief in Aladdin 2 revives him. But I've upgraded Fyra and Fyra, and I have Ansem's Report 1! Ooh! Remember Ansem? I kind of talked over the introduction of Ansem. Oh, bye Jasmine. I kind of talked over the introduction of Ansem. Yuffie brought him up in Kingdom in uh, Traverse Town. He was someone who was studying the heartless and darkness and all that stuff. So maybe his reports will give us important background lore. You know, like reading the description on a Dark Souls item. But now we will seal the keyhole and we will save Persia from destruction. At least it's safe from destruction until the shit from Prince of Persia starts happening. But that's his problem, not ours. And... There we go. We've sealed the keyhole, and to Agrabah's credit, it does end on kind of a cool note. Because there's something missing from the Aladdin movie that we haven't really done yet. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, it is time for an exhilarating magic carpet ride. It's okay. This is kind of neat. Um, you do not get control of magic or anything, so if you get hurt, you can't just cast Cure. It controls really wonky. Like, yes, holding left and right make you go left and right. I really cannot properly explain how awkward the controls are here. You just have to play it yourself. If you've played this game, you understand how wrong this feels to control. But without it, I really cannot properly explain. But, it's still a neat set piece. Like, even if it controls like shit, that was still kind of neat to do. You know, it'll scratch the itch if you like the movie. And there we go! We did it! Agrabah has been saved. Woo! Woo! And now Sora's saying Aladdin cannot be taken to other worlds. Because they're meddling. Uh, Earth to L. Hello? Oh wow, that's right. Aladdin has one wish left. Time for him to be selfish and use it to find Jasmine instead of upholding his promise. I wish for your freedom, Genie. Whoa! Aladdin is being selfless and helping. Robert Williams, Dan Castanella, be free? Wow! He has legs! 
He is now a man. A very strange looking man. Awfully big for a smurf. But you know what? That's fine. But if you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. And this is a cute little scene. Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. But a favor? Now that's entirely. That's that's a cute little bit. I guess I could give Genie that. is going to become our second that's summon. Now I do not know why the genie is allowed to leave and go with us, and Aladdin isn't. I don't know, I guess because he's a magical being and he can be summoned because of magic. I don't know. But we now have the genie. And there's Hades for some reason. <laughs> and Riku. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Yeah, and this is explained that Riku was the one who entered Agrabah, kidnapped Jasmine. That's why she's not there. And Maleficent's just like, damn, Jafar sucks. Rip. And here's Hades, hanging around. And... Hang on. Whoa! Kyrie! What's gonna happen? Curry, go to her. That is such a delayed reaction. And there he is, Captain Hook. That's a fucking good character right there. One of Disney's best villains, honestly. So, uh, spoilers, you go to Neverland. Kind of. You don't go to Neverland. I'll explain it when we get to Neverland. Like a son to me, Maleficent, you lying bitch. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. I do give Riku credit, even when the villains are using him, he's not fully evil. Like, he knows something's fishy, they're just helping him find Kairi. So he's kind of going along with it. Riku ain't just dumb. He, he has some problems, but he ain't dumb. And now we also have a new Keyblade. And Green Trinity. That's the important thing. Now we have Sora, Donald, and Goof. So what I want to do is go real quick before I forget about it. Because I will forget about it. I believe this is some crucial Dalmatian. Utilize the power of the Trinity. And open the box. I believe these are three dogs. Nope, it's an AP up, even more important. All right, stock, defense up for me, AP up for me. I forgot about this from earlier. I now have the power of blocking. I think I've had these abilities for a while and just forgot to equip them. All right, I might be dumb. I'm pretty sure I've had those abilities for a while. Anyways. To the gummy ship! Now, we can have the... This is them going, Hey, go to the tra uh, Traverse Town. You have Winnie the Pooh, and also Green Trinity. And also, you didn't, I haven't gotten to show this off yet. We have Warp Drive. Whoa! Now you can just instantly go to any location that you've been before. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. So, next episode, it is time for more Winneth the Pooeth. Who the hell named his last name Pooh? What the fuck is a Pooh? How did you not think that through? <laughs>